This sword's not gonna make it. Oh my god. Bruh. This one's stupid. Uh, it wouldn't be bad if I had to, didn't have to sit through freaking both train and play time every single time. This is why nobody resets, does resets on their T Toy Story 3 runs. Because like the the amount of downtime in this game is absurd. Or like minimal stimulation right, play gameplay. Like you really don't need that many inputs to do train rescue without unscathed. Like there are some, like a couple fancy tricks, but most of them are too hard to go for normally. Oh, that almost ate my jump. Well, that did eat my jump, but I recovered. That was stupid. Oh my god. This train's not stupid, right? It's okay, it's not great. Oh, well, not good by my standards. Oh my god. Oh, that was horrible. That was really not great. That was a bad controller. I shouldn't have helped my DS like that. That was dumb. Why? Well, this is gonna be the run. We're like, I have a bunch of like really inconvenient stuff happen to me. But then I get like the toilet paper, the toilet. The freaking paper towel clip first try. It's gonna be one of those runs. Those runs are the most annoying when you like you, it's like the worst run in the world, but it's like still the best run. It's still the best run because you got that one like really stupid trick first try. It's basically what the world record is. Like, all the gameplay is, like... I mean, it's not bad, but... It's not, like, the greatest. But I'm... Um, JD just got the, uh... Barney clip first try. And it just became the god run.
Like, nobody's bothered to do an 80% run since. I mean, I could pick up any percent again, but I don't know. Like, this game's just... A lot of the tricks are very inconsistent. Which makes it a reset game. But and also, there's a ton of downtime, which doesn't make it the best reset game. Like, whenever I play a game, or a speed game, I mean, I'm fine with the being longer, but, like, I feel like it needs action all the way throughout. So, like, even if it's, like, overall a more chill game like Kirby, like Kirby Planet Robot, for example, that game's more chill overall than this run. It's more slow-paced, but it, you're constantly moving still compared to uh, this game where you have, like, a ton of downtime. Like, honestly, I think that if there's one game that I'd like to pick... Actually, I don't know what game I'd pick up if I wanted to speedrun a new game. Probably it'd be, like, Mario Kart 64 or Kirby Superstar. One of those two. Or well, I could keep trying for Odyssey, but that game's just incredibly difficult. Nobody talks about how difficult that's been, I feel like. Especially if you're not, like, a like at every day like you speed run games every day but like if you're a casual speedrunner that game is a nightmare to play there's it's just so fast paced and like you get punished hard for tiny mistakes too like the gap between like what's considered a good beginner time in, in the world record is massive like absolutely giant Whereas, like, compared to this game, like, I'd say a good time is, like, heck, you could probably get, like, a low 15-minute time, even if you're kind of new, I feel like. If you just use all the skips and have okay movement, you'd probably get, like, a low 15-minute time. But Mario Odyssey, no, that game just hard punishes you. And it's fast paced. Like, mad props to the people who run that game, bro. But I mean, when you're good at it, that game looks really fun. Like, I was watching Tyrone's Sub 57 today. I didn't finish watching it, but. Like, the stuff. Like, it was. He had a new route and everything. And he was moving like a madman. I mean, it's kind of kind of expected. Yeah, I'm nervous. That I'm saying all these things, and it's not even gonna register in the mic. It's gonna sound like incredibly quiet. You'd have to be at like max volume to hear it. I hope I hope that's not the case. And I can't tell about that accident because I have headphones in listening to music. And I do not want to take them, feel like taking them out and listening to the Tori Street 3DS OSD. I mean, this OSD isn't bad, it's just not what I want to listen to right now. You know, I, I could also speed in Kirby in the Fair Island, because I, I like that game. I think it's probably, like, my... Yeah, I'd say it's my favorite Kirby game. I mean, the only ones I've played are Superstar, Robobot, Triple Deluxe. I, play, I might have played Star Eyes at a friend's house. 
I played Dream Course. I had Dreamland 2 when I was a little kid, when I was a kid. Like when I was five, but then I lost it. And I had Rainbow Curse. But yeah, no, I'd say Forgotten Land's my favorite though. I mean, I haven't played like Richard, some of the other really good Kirby games, like uh, Return to Dreamland or uh, Superstar Ultra. I've heard is really good too. I mean, Planet Robo is also very good, and so is Normal Superstar. Triple Deluxe isn't bad. It's just that the Hypernova kills the pacing so bad, badly. Like I like the game a lot better if they did. If they had their super mechanic, anything else other than Hypernova. Because Hypernova is literally just a glorified cutscene. Like, the, like things like the robot and super abilities, you can actually kind of like play. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh shoot, I forgot to split. Uh, screw it. It's inaccurate. Can you? Yeah, you can see. There we go. Time. Let's go. What's up, ten? All right. Oh, I mean sub eleven. Shoot. Yeah, I'll show you the split. That's all I'm doing. I've been at this for forty minutes now. Yeah, that's the time. The second to last split is wrong, so I'm gonna need to fix that. I'm actually probably gonna remove the second to last split. The rest are accurate though. So yeah. Uh, anyways. Let's go, sub 11, let's go. I'm the king, I have not mastered, I am the world record holder for turning into a roll of paper towels. This is uh, peak Toy Story 3DS speed riding. Uh, bye.